This is just a short video on the different ways to write multiplication and the different time or different ways you can possibly see them in your problems. And so this should hopefully clear up some of the confusions when you're dealing with order of operations and a little bit more math, uh, advanced mathematics. So as we look at this problem, we say it's three it's five times three. Okay, well we can write that as five and then a little x to represent multiplication and that's five times three. Using that exact same little x, we can actually write it in a column format, and which is typically easier if you have to do multiple digit numbers. So digits that have are like 21 and 42 and 108. Okay, if you have to work with numbers like that, it's usually easier to write it in column form. So it'd be five times three. And then you work your answers underneath. Okay, now that's not the only way to write multiplication. And in fact, as you progress into algebra, you don't want to write it like that because x is used as a, in a different form. Okay, they called a variable. We actually use x in a different way than, than multiplication. And so, very typically, you'll move away from using an x and you'll say, five and a solid dot is times. Okay, so five times three. Now, beyond doing arithmetic, which would be where you would see the columns, you don't normally see multiplication in columns. You normally see multiplication in linear form, such as five times three. And then if you have to convert it to columns, that's fine. But more often than not, once you once you leave the arithmetic side of it and go to the algebra, then you're going to be looking at a linear format. And so more often we write it as five with a solid dot three. So five times three is written that way. Another way to write it is to use parentheses or brackets or braces. And so just as a quick refresher, these are parentheses, parentheses, brackets, and braces. And they're squig the squiggly things. On a keyboard, at least a standard American keyboard, uh, the braces and the brackets are the same keys. You just hold the shift key in order to actu actuate the braces. Okay, so now I can use these to say 5 times 3. I can actually write it as 5 times 3 or 5 times 3. And so if you see a number that's right next to a set of parentheses, that means multiply. Same way with brackets. I can write 5 times 3, or I can simply write 5 times 3. Braces, same exact way. All right, so now, it's not normal for us. It's, it's more normal to write this second option, and it's less normal to see it this way, 5 times 3. That is not very normal. We typically will want to bring this number out to the front if we can. Okay? And so it, it's just a commonality. It's more of a convention. There's no rule against it. It's just that it's not typically done. I just want to introduce you to the different ways of writing multiplication because you see them, uh, especially when you're talking about the order of operations and, and working a, a complex problem like that. You tend to see more of the green style. That tends to show up more. Okay?